And welcome back to the channel. Today I'm riding the Aerial Rider Grizzly. And let's just get past this stop. And uh, today's video is an appreciation video. This video is kind of a thank you to all of those who have been subscribing to the channel and viewing the videos. I thank you very much. Uh, for doing that. The channel has been running now for eight months and it's uh, growing daily and um, I just wanted to mention that uh, I've been at this now like I say for eight months. I started on 4th of July just kind of as a hobby because I like riding and I saw some other YouTube channels of folks riding their e-bikes and recording their rides and I thought that would be a cool thing to do. I wouldn't mind doing that. And so that's how I got started into it and uh, if you haven't heard the story, I started with a Acaso camera, which I did not have for very long. I still have it, but I don't use it anymore. I quickly learned that that camera's not going to cut it for myself or anybody who wants to view my videos. Uh, the quality just wasn't good enough. It was very unstable and, and uh, so within a couple of weeks I purchased a GoPro 10. I did some looking up on what would be a good camera to get and everything pointed to the GoPro. So. At the time, the GoPro 10 was the latest uh, one you could get, so uh, I went for that. And uh, started using that. I bought a, a selfie stick and from GoPro, as well as a uh, chest mount. And uh, so I started recording. with that and uh, what a difference the quality was and um, so uh, that was a big step right there so uh, yeah so it just started out as a hobby you know I thought this would be cool to do and I had no expectations I did not you know go in with any assumptions on how many views I would get or subscribers or anything like that. I didn't have a following from any other platform to bring over to my channel. I just started from scratch, you know, and just rode, rode around, you know, and, and recorded and talked. Some, some of the videos I didn't talk. I uh, just rode around and uh, so I wasn't sure whether people wanted to hear hear me talk and do a little narration while I'm riding or just have the sounds of nature and whatever else is out here, you know, uh, while you ride. But uh, it came to be that a lot of folks said that, you know, they would leave comments saying that they'd rather hear me talking. And um, of course, Back then I was wearing, uh, I had a motorcycle helmet that I purchased, full full faced uh, motorcycle helmet with visor. And so uh, it was hard to hear my voice through that. I didn't have no setup um, of microphone going through the helmet. So uh, it was hard to pick up my voice. And so, uh, 
I switched, now I use an ex needle helmet um, that I have that was sent to me by the company. I did a review on it. Uh, there is a video back a little ways there of a review I did on the helmet. And uh, so I wear this helmet and the quality of audio is much better because my mouth is obviously closer to the microphone without being uh, covered by anything. I'm just riding around here. So uh, so we got improvements there. We got improvements on the, uh, the camera. And then just doing the videos, you know, you kind of learn a little bit as you go to. I'm getting more, more and more familiar with YouTube itself and, you know, uploading the videos and editing the videos and all that good stuff. So it's been kind of a fun ride so far. And, uh, I mean, there's nowhere to go but onward and upward. I, I expect the channel to do even bigger and better things in the future. Got some uh, exciting stuff uh, planned ahead in the summer. Some more great rides and uh, possibly some more bikes. You never know in the future. And as I hit a dead end here keep forgetting the sidewalk is where it's at and uh, we're gonna have uh, some guest riders along the way too and hopefully uh, one if not several uh, group rides I don't know how big the group will be yet it'll probably be small to start and we'll see where it goes and how much it grows but uh, we'll see where that goes in the future but that'll be kind of exciting and the most thrilling part of a group ride for me would be two things. One is meeting everyone and seeing what bike they have. You know, it's always exciting to see what bikes everyone else is ri are riding and probably bikes I've never seen before, only on video or pictures and nev never seen uh, in person. So that's always exciting. So we're, we're getting close now to uh, 200 videos on the channel, which is pretty impressive when I look back. I mean, I've even got a mount, if you can see right here, I'm pointing to it, where I would mount the camera. This was the old camera, the Acaso. I would mount it right there to shoot the video. I tried some even from that angle and I mean, it was pretty cool and all. I thought it was pretty good, but let's face it everybody wants to see your dash here and what speed you're going and what you're doing with the controls and all so that's why the um i use the uh, chest mount there pretty much exclusively uh, i've never tried the uh, helmet mount before uh that would be a different angle as well but I too kind of like the chest mount myself uh, the best, I think, because I like to see when other people ride and I watch their videos, I do like to see what's going on here. So I'm kind of the same. So we may also uh, in the future, I don't own one myself, but I know a few people that own drones so we may be getting uh, some drone action involved in the uh, channel a little bit for a little bit of a different view. So that'll be uh, something to look forward to. It's not 100%, but it's a pretty good bet that that's going to happen. So... Uh, I'm also hoping at some point to get uh, a scooter, like a kick scooter in my future to uh, horse around on a little bit, do some uh, riding on videos. I've never ridden one before, but it does look like a lot of fun. And it would be something that could fit into the channel as well, once in a while.
So it's going to be a pretty fun summer coming up. I can see it now. And uh, we just need to get, get the weather to cooperate with us to make it all happen. So thank you to everyone, like I say, who's been supporting the channel, subscribing and uh, watching the videos. And that, uh, not that I needed, it, needed any motivation or anything because I just love doing this anyway, but that even motivates me and makes me want to even do bigger and better things for uh, everyone to see kind of exciting to grow myself with the channel because I'm learning a lot too as I go and uh, thanks to the uh, fellow youtubers out there for uh, inspiring me to get into this it is a lot of fun and the e-bike world is just tons of fun so if you haven't ridden an e-bike yet, you don't know what you're missing. You got to get out there and try it. Because once you get trying it, you'll get hooked. If you'd like to comment on this video or any other videos on the channel, you can go ahead and leave a comment in the comments section. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you'd like to be notified as to when the next video will come up here on the channel just hit that notification bell and we do our best on the channel here to get a video up every day it's not a promise but we do our best and we've even had occasionally a situation come up where i put two videos in one day that doesn't happen very often but um, it has recently. One was a mistake, actually. It was meant to go the next morning, but I accidentally uh, didn't hit the scheduling. Uh, I messed up myself on the scheduling, and so it came out the same day. It was supposed to be the next morning, but uh, that was all good. And uh, then a couple of videos I did where a situation came up, like the uh, when I did the hill climb with the graffiti. I wanted to get that one up for everyone to see right away. And so I did that. So anyway, once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Take care.